everybody. Welcome. Today we are back at it with our 2023 Board of Directors election interviews. Today I'm here with Dave Kapoor. Thank you for joining us, Dave. Thanks for having me here. And we're just going to kick it off with you this morning. And why don't you give us a little bit of history about who you are, sure. what company you're with, and what is your elevator pitch as to why you're running for the Board of Directors? Sure. So as you said, I'm Dev Kapoor. Um, I'm with All City Real Estate. Uh, I've been in the real estate industry since 2016. Uh, before I joined real estate, I was uh, in the corporate world in my prior uh, professional career. I ran my own company, um, and then I was a management consultant, and then I was in the corporate world with Capital One, one of the best companies for uh, analytics, and I had the good fortune to being with them for, for a long while. Mm -hmm. uh, my educational background is that I have a master's in uh, industrial engineering and mechanical engineering, wow. and an MBA from the University of Virginia, uh, which was focused mostly on investments, finance, and real estate. So, so that was my education background. Um, the reason I'm running for this election is, uh, I believe in the uh, you know that you want to be the change that you want to make in the world. Uh, I've heard a lot of people, you know, you have these uh, uh, what I call the couch coaches, right? Uh, everybody has their opinion on what things to be done and how to be done but nobody gets on to doing stuff. Uh, and that's where I want to be I'm different that I, you know, the change that I want to make, I want to be a part of that change and empower that change. Uh, that's what I'm running for the election for. Uh, I, you know, Austin has been uh, evolving a lot. We have seen the changing face of uh, Austin. It's, it's a melting pot, the diversity on that. Uh, yet we don't see that diversity out in the board. And, mm -hmm. and the thing we see, you know, a lot of our realtors uh, are uh, from very diverse backgrounds, diverse cultures. But yet we don't see that manifested back in, 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 into our, our board, and that's where I want to make the change to bring the diversity of thought, diversity of culture, uh, and, and empower our agents. That's one of my biggest uh, standards is that uh, we, you know, we have this engagement and elevation of people, but we also want to empower our agents, and that's what I want to bring to the table. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, as you know, and with your corporate background, we wear two hats here at the Austin Board of Realtors. Our board of directors wears our association hat, but we also have our actress MLS hat. And so what I would like to know is how will you work to reinforce the value of the MLS as an actress board member? Sure. So um, as I said, I had been fortunate enough to work with the Capital One, which is one of the biggest, uh, you know, and the best place to learn for uh, analytics. And I believe that, you know, actress, we have it as a, as a data assimilation point. And, you know, what I used to say, my world is that you have, you have information and, you know, the data is raw data. You can work into information and you can work into insights. Mm -hmm. I feel we are on that journey, but we are still not there. Uh, you know, we have this, uh, you know, vast information of data out there which is, uh, you know, which we've assimilated and cut through different sites, but we are still lacking in the insights portion of there. And, you know, and where you, and, and rather than just insights, it needs to be in actionable insights. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think that I can help, help the board as a, as a board member to drive that, that path out there, uh, you know, where we can uh, make actress not just, uh, just a data assimilation point and, and, and data dispensing tool, but more of something that can provide insights to people where they can work on, and, and, and that's the leverage and the, and the value that we can create for our, Different for our consumers. Different lines of business. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Great. Well, let's swap over to the association side. As sure. you know, we work from an a ABOR strategic plan. So what part of the strategic plan for ABOR is most important to you, and what would you like to see carry forward into 2023? So, so I do like the part where you say, you know, the, the elevation part and then the, and, and, and the engagement part, and that yeah. is very important uh, for, for us. Uh, you know, a lot of people that I've talked to aside, you know, they said they, they think of the board is, is, is a necessary evil, that we have to mm -hmm. join the board, and it's not so much the board, they, it's most of to, to gain, gain access to the MLS, right? Uh, that should change. People should feel that it is their product. You know, they need to feel that they are the owners of a board. It's not just that you, you're a member, but you you drive the you know the, the organization. And there should be more engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, the ways we have seen a board going, it's going on the right path. Uh, you, I would like to see that going forward to, to bring that engagement more uh, and the elevation of the experience that people have with that. Uh, be more you know providing that educational background that uh, our educational offerings that we've had with the. The board that is really good, uh, and we want to make sure that we do a lot more. But besides that, I also would like to add another element of that is to empower. You know, mm. uh, so that element I feel is missing in our strategic plan, and I would like to get that empowerment of members, uh, not just brokers. I think that's where a lot of in focus has been. But I would like to have the 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 agents to be empowered to to, to uh, you know uh, to make that change, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 we get them more involved with the board. Great, so. wonderful. Well, you told us a little bit about your corporate background and some of your educational background, which is 
Awesome. What do you feel about you that uh, you bring to the table that will help move the association forward um, as one of the seats on our board of directors? Sure. So I've been involved with, with a lot of de de diversity panels uh, with, with, within my corporate world in, the, in my previous life. Uh, mm -hmm. As I said, I've, I've run under my own, own um, business uh, before, so, so I bring that experience of how, how things are done or how what's the strategic vision. Uh, you know, you have to align your your mem membership to the strategic vision that you have, and that's where I think the value that I bring to the table is that where I'm I've been very uh, good at, at aligning the uh, aligning the different pieces mm -hmm. or all, all putting all the dots in the row to, to get that to, towards this, 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 this strategic vision. Uh, besides that, as I said, uh, you know, I've been uh, fortunate enough to have an, uh, an experience with both my education background and my professional career to be involved in finance and to be in in, in the analytics. And that's where I would like to see where you know that I can bring value just to see how do we drive that strategic vision and that strategic thing to bring more analytics into into our, our MLS and, and and the board. You're a puzzle piece yeah. person. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I I, I, I uh, see when I talk to my clients also. I'm like I'm I'm here as a problem solver for you. Problem solver. You know that is my value that I bring to the table for you is is the problem solving. You know, and you know we talk of the different. Uh, uh, you know, what, what are the threats, you know, the SWOT analysis that you can tend, tend to do for things. Uh, you know, the people talk about threats to the industry, you know. Uh, a lot of people talk of the threats to the industry as being from outside the industry, right, or, or, or uh, technology. You know, there are different companies coming in, there, there are these uh, disruptive, uh, dis uh, disruptors that, that basically uh, are things which uh, are, are impacting our industry from different companies. But from, from my point of view, it is not the in external people that we need to worry about. It's more of the internal side that we need to worry mm. about, our own mem members itself. You know, we need to value our own selves. Mm. I'm seeing a lot of the fact where people do not value their own services that they provide. You know, when, some, when somebody is willing to write a contract for $100 or $500, you know, I'll pay you $500, just, just put your name on the contract. That's where you're devaluing yourself and not just your, your, yourself, but the whole, whole trade and the whole organization. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you bring more to the table than just that five hundred dollars mm -hmm. worth, and that is what people need to th start thinking about themselves: is that they are more valuable. You know, uh, the fact that you know uh, uh, the other side is about the the in internet. You know, it's a great source of information, but it's also not the best source, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you have the you know, if you have something, people go and check on themselves on WebMD, right? Uh, but still, you want to go to the doctor. You you don't want to want to, want to you know make yourself. Uh, uh, do your own uh, diagnosis and everything and, and uh, prescribe your medicines just based on WebMD and that is where I see the risk is that a lot of people are doing that and that's where we as realtors and the board need to uh, create the value to see for the, for the consumers as well as for our own membership to say hey we are more than just you, you know just a $500 thing. Well you really hit the nail on the head with my next question um, so it's a perfect segue here what do you feel is the biggest challenge facing our industry? And what do you think that the uh, Austin Board of Realtors and the actress side can do to, what should we be doing about that to, to help both, like you said, kind of within ourselves as well as maybe at a national level? Sure. As, so, uh, you know, as, as I said, we need to value ourselves more. And that starts with the fact that, you know, how, how do people become realtors, right? Right now, the, the perception is that, hey, all, all, all I need is a month to become a realtor. You know, you have, you have 180, day, 180 hours of great hours that you need to do and then pass an exam to become a realtor. Mm -hmm. We need to, you know, align ourselves to make sure to have that change, you know. There should be a little bit more on emphasis on the educational background and the qualification required, you know, the eligibility to become a realtor, right? Mm -hmm. Because right now, if you see about anybody who's saying, oh, I'm doing this job, I'll just pass this exam and I can do it on the side. And that's what's happening and that's where all these $500 people are coming in where they say, oh, I'll just put my name in. And that's where I feel the threat is. Uh, we, uh, you know, ABOR has been on the forefront of a lot of things that I see. You know, we have been uh, championing a lot of different things uh, in terms of technology, in terms of making change. And I think we can uh, be, uh, be the change behind that, the force behind it to make that change, you know, working with different other boards across the state. And I think that starts with the state since Real estate is a very state-driven thing to say. We we'll work with track to see how we can change that eligibility criteria to say that that somebody cannot just be, when they become a realtor, it means something. It's a career. It's not just a, yeah. a side thing that I can do, you know, uh, as a pastime. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. What I would like to know is, do you have any last-minute words for your colleagues as they go to vote for their 2023 board of directors? 
What would you like to say to them, lastly, as we wrap up our interview today? Sure. So, uh, you know, I, obviously, I'm, I'm here at, at, for, 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 for the board, so I would like, like, like your support, and I would like to uh, you, you know, consider me and, and work, for, work for me. But beyond that, beyond the board and everything in the elections, I do want my, our membership to get more involved, more engaged, you know, not just think of, uh, of, of the board as just, just a place we just put it use, but get more involved, you know, try and get involved in different, in different uh, committees. I've, I've been fortunate enough to, to be involved with diff different committees. I was with the global committee, with the professional development, uh, professional standards, uh, as well as the investment uh, and, 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 the, and the private committee. Get involved, make the, get involved and be the change agent that, that you want to see in the industry and, and your board. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Dave. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget, everybody, our election goes live on September 19th to 5 p.m. on the 21st. We'll see you next time. Thank you.